Shiva's conference. Tuwakaribisha nyote katika kongamano kuu. Here at our home of grace and favor. Junge nasi tubarikiwe pamoja. As from 20th to 23rd of September. Njoo na mpendo na rafiki tujionee ukuu wa Bwana. It will be a conference like no other. You surely know what I mean. Barikiwa. Be blessed as you prepare.
Even if they are calling you on after your hand, after your angle, it doesn't matter. We are the one. 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 It means that I was forgotten somewhere. And I asked my mother, what kind of name was this? She told me it is not me. It is your grandmother. He was expecting other sons and daughters to bear him a grandson for heritage. And when they bore, they bore girls. When they bore, when And there was no grandson. For inheritance. And therefore, when you came, Your grandfather said, Moli and Wasi. This one was forgotten. And I was forgotten. And now he has arrived. And now he has arrived. And now he has arrived. Time of during my life in the ministry of the Lord. The Lord tells me, No, you are not forgotten anywhere. Your name will change today. Jina lako ni talibadilisha leo. You are mwazi man. Wewe utaitwa kubarikiwa. Allah. Amen. 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 Even the 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 English the the Google they say it is one line. Ata ukiangalia katika Google ya Kiingereza inasema kwamba ni aliye bariki. When they pronounce they say one line. Wana pointa muka Kiingereza wana sema hivyo inatamke. Because everything is in the name. Maana kila kitu kipo katika jina. I want you to look at your name. Nataka uangalie jina uliloitwa. And if it does not pronounce blessing, na kama alitamki baraka kwako, it does not pronounce grace, alitamki neema kwako, it does not pronounce peace, alitamki amani kwako, it does not pronounce love, alitamki upendo kwako. Ask the Lord for a name. Muulize Bwana na akupe jina lake. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you with me? Unanifata. Are you with me? Unanielewa. Unaja. Huh? Unaja. Huh? Nasikia? Yes. So everything is in the name. Kila kitu kipo katika jina. The church that we have. Kanisa tulilo na. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Neema ya Kristo. Hallelujah. Makofi kwa Yesu. Bibia Yesu makofi kwa Yesu. Makofi kwa Yesu. Bibia Yesu makofi kwa Yesu. It means that it is about Jesus and His Christ. Ina maana kwamba inawekwa kwa hiyo jina inaongea kuhusu Kristo na neema ya Kristo. And so in our foundation as Christians and followers of Christ. Ilivyo katika misingi yetu kama wafuasi wa Kristo. We start with the name. Tunaanza na jina. We have a good name. To call a Gina Zul. And then number two, we are children, daughters and sons of God. Jambo la pili sisi ni wana wa kemo. And then the third thing, jambo la tatu, we must know something very important according to Paul. Lazima tunilewe jambo la muhimu kama vile Paulo walivyo nilewe. He told you only in verse three. Ali mabia tibodeo mstaru wa tatu. I urged you upon my departure. As I urged you upon my departure to Macedonia, remain on Ephesus so that you may instruct certain men not to teach strange doctrines. So, verse 4, uh, verse 3. Nasema kwamba, wala atuwati kukukuka kazi yeli ya imani na taku yeli ya upendo na shaguri yeli ya... First Timothy 1, 3. Timotheo wa kwanza What do I do with you? Timotheo wa kwanza Inasama kwa makama mile nilinyo kushi Mukai zeso Nilipo kuwa ni kisafiri kwenda na kelonia Ili wakatazo wengine Wasifunishe elimo nyingine Wala wasiangalie adili Na nasaba Zizo na ukomo 
zile e, zile tanzo maswali wala si madaraka ya Mungu yaliyo katika imani basi ufanye hivi so being rooted in the right doctrine haiko kujengwa katika mafundisho yanayofaa this number one understanding our name ya kula kwanza ni kuelewa na kutambua jina lako ama jina letu jesus christ jina letu la neema ya kristo it is by grace we exist ni kwa neema tunaishi it is by grace we are saved ni katika hiyo neema tulikobolewa it is by grace we are called into the ministry ni katika hiyo neema tuliitwa katika huduma it is by grace we do counseling ni katika hiyo neema huwa tunapeana maoshi it is by grace that this church will extend ni katika neema kanisha litapanuka its territories mipaka yake itapanuka in tharaka nidi uko tharaka nidi meru watu wa mee irinyaga irinyaga laikipia laikipia masai yote masai yote kale jini yote kale jini kisumo yote kisumo yote ukabani kote uko ukabani pokomo pokomo everywhere kila mahali the church of jesus christ will extend kanisa la kristo litapanuka by grace kwa neema so that is the one name jambo la kwanza ni jina number two, knowing that we are daughters and sons of god jambo la pili ni kuelewa sisi ni mwana katika ufalme wa mungu and for that we want to see verse two is very important hivyo basi kifungu cha pili ni cha maana sana to timothy my true child kwa timotheo mwanangu in the faith katika imani grace mercy neema and peace na amani from god na kibali kutoka kwa mungu and from jesus christ na kutoka kwa kristo mwenyewe and then number three is knowing the right doctrine na kifungu cha tatu ni kuelewa mafundisho ya kweli in verse 3 timothy tells uh, is told by paul remain in ephesus mstari wa tatu anamwambia na kukaa kule Efeso because Timothy is an apostle maana Timotheo alikuwa ni mtume and i have assumed the position of an apostle right now na saidi anaweza kuingia katika hiyo nafasi ya kuwa mtume i am tra, tra, uh, trans uh, tra, uh, what can i say Uh, I have moved to many churches right now. Anaweza kuyatembelea makanisa mengi hivi sasa. Encourage brothers and sisters and the pastors. Akitia moyo wapendwa na pia watumishi. So Paul is encouraging Timothy. Paulo hapa anamtia moyo Timotheo to not move. Asije akaondoka. Stay in Ephesus. Aishi kule Efeso. He was in Ephesus that is Timothy for four years. Aishi Efeso kipindi cha miaka 4 as a pastor. Kama mchungaji. And Paul is writing when he is in prison. Paulo ni sasa anaandika akiwa katika jela. He has been in prison. Alikuwa amefungwa jela. And in the dark corner of his cell. Na mahali alipokuwa amefungiwa kule seli ndani. He is writing the first and second Timothy. Ndipo aliandika Timotheo wa kwanza na wa pili. And he is telling him usitanga tange. Na anamwambia Timotheo, remain there in Ephesus. Endelea kuishi pale katika kanisa la Efeso. There is a church there. Kuna kanisa liko hapo. So that you may instruct people in the right doctrine. Ili uweze kuelekeza watu kwa mafundisho yanayofaa. Because there are those who are teaching strange doctrine. Maana kuna wanao wapa mafundisho ya uongo. So you see the significance of a foundation. Paimo unaona umuhimu wa misingi that is built on true doctrine. Misingi inayowekwa katika mafundisho ya kweli. Instruction, sheria, amri, uh, fuzo. Uh, fuzo. Mafunzo. Instruction, mafunzo. In the right of fundisha katika mafundisho ya kweli. So I want to ask you a small question here. Now I'm going to swap it to you all. I know you are in your local churches. Na ndio uko katika makanisa mali ulipotoka. Do you ask yourself a question what instruction am I following? Ushindi uliza hii swali je ni mafundisho gani ninayofuata? Because there are people following strange doctrines. Maana kuna watu wanaofuata mafundisho yasiyo ya kweli. Uh, doctrines which are not rooted in the word of God. Mafundisho yasiyo na mizizi ya neno la Mungu. 
And uh, because of that they begin to trust people. And to follow people. And to worship people. And they leave Jesus Christ. So I am speaking this morning, afternoon really. We need the right doctrine as a church. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the net, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, Jesus Grace Church International. We need the right doctrine. And that we will not listen to strange doctrine. Then number four. We need to understand what we pay attention to. We are paying attention that we have a name. And the second, we are daughters and sons of God. By grace. And then the third thing is, is that we must know our doctrine. Then the fourth one, coming from doctrine, Paul tells Timothy, do not pay attention to myths. Verse 4, I verse 4. Noah, do not pay attention to myths and endless genealogies. Which gave rise to mere speculation rather than furthering the administration of God, which is by, by faith. Which is by faith. But the goal of our instruction is love. From a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Why is it important that Paul is speaking to Timothy about paying attention to me? On endless genealogies. Endless genealogies. And that is not the way God wants us to go. But the direction of the foundation in our faith is in verse 5. The goal of instruction, that is number five. What is it? Number five. It is accompanied by love. Number five. It is accompanied by love. And this love is from pure heart. And this love is from pure heart. And this is from good conscience. And sincere faith. So that is a distinction between us and anyone else with another doctrine. There are people right now with their own doctrines and their own prophecies. And uh, you would not believe the prophecies that were here in Kenya during the time of presidency. So many prophecies. And you want to ask yourself, why are you doing this? Why are you concentrating on Ruta? Uh, concentrating on Ruta. Focusing. We need to have Ruto. Uh, no, I, I'm saying this. 
when these prophecies were going on. Wakati wa unabii alipokuwa anatolewa, you want to ask yourself because they were speaking on Ruto and uh, and the Raila. Bona wengine walikuwa naongea kuhusu Ruto na wengine wanaongea kuhusu Raila. And uh, we had so many prophets. Na kuna wanabii wengi walikuwa wanatoa ukatili wakati huu. From Nigeria, kutoka Nigeria, from Kenya itself, kutoka Kenya hapa kwetu, from Tanzania, wengine Tanzania, the south, wengine kutoka south to see to see and every everywhere there were prophecies every minute and you want to ask the, the, the ministers or the prophets of the word why are you all at sudden you have concentrated or focused on root why right now why why? Where is the Christ? Christ of you go up in the Because our foundation is Jesus the cornerstone. Our foundation is the prophets of the Old Testament and, and the disciples of Jesus. The apostles of Jesus Christ. That is our foundation. So whenever you see myths and genealogies and stories, 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 they are about self. They have moved away from Jesus. I am not saying do not pray for Ruta. Do not pray for Trump. Biden. Biden. And any other president of the world. In fact, the Bible says pray for the king. And the rulers of all ranks. So that they fear God. That is the teaching. But when you see a concentration on a person, then the doctrine is off. Because every Sunday, a servant of God, when he stands on the pulpit, he must lift Christ. I believe it. I do live a big ten down, And let me tell you the truth. Every king here, king of Sunday, every president here, king of Rice, every ruler here, king of Yogos, on the surface of the earth, your daughters and your sons are going to serve them. But Jesus Christ, like you Christ, has given us grace, has delivered us from sin, he has called us his friends, and that is the one we identify with. Hallelujah! Amen. He is the one we serve, he is the one we lift. So abstain, church. Myths and less genealogies because they are speculation rather than fathering the administration of God or rather than uh, fathering, meaning uh, progressing. The administration of the things of God. By faith. By but the instruction that we have must be built in love. Every every teaching, every instruction, to know that it is true. True doctrine. Is built on love. Verse 5. On love, number one. Pure heart. And a 
good conscience and a sincere faith. So what have I said so far? True foundation in the things of God. It is rooted on the right doctrine. First, first, understanding we have a name. In fact, we have a name. Because Second Timothy 2, in, a, in another uh, uh, verse, it says that if you are named and you name the name of God, Timothy wa pili, pina, sema, kamba, kama jina, na jina la mungu, name after the name of God, we you are a child of God. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, But as many as believed in him. John 1 12. John 1 12. John 1 12. As many as believe in Jesus Christ. To them he gave the right to become the children of God. Because of believing. And first John, second John, third John, he speaks about because of believing. You have become children of God. And you are saved. Because of belief. So number one, we have a name. And our name as a church is Jesus Christ. And God has given this church by grace. And we are the church of Jesus Christ. By mercy. And we are the church of Jesus Christ. Through God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. So you need to know your name. So that tomorrow you are not going to another name something like that. Every church must be satisfied with Jesus Christ. So don't mean any other word. You don't even to say uh, below that you say what um, about a life, for example. Or living word. Because there's another living word. There's a church by the name living word. Ours is Jesus Christ. Let you in the name of your Bishop. And we need to remain there. And, and, and I need the Bishop to be here. Ubutumane, I gave her. 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 Ubutumane, Jesus Christ. In the in the post outside there. Jesus Christ. And then number two. Knowing that we are daughters and sons of God. We don't belong to somebody. It is Jesus who has saved us by his grace. Ephesians 2.8 for by grace ye have been saved. Not by works. But by faith. Because if it is by works, we will boast. And say we delivered ourselves. And if it is by grace, we will be thankful to Jesus. We will worship Him. We will lift our voices up. And say, Jesus Christ, be ye lifted. In my life, in my work, in my house, in everything I do. So we are. 
Sons and daughters of God. Na sisi ni wana katika ufalme. Number three, jambo la tatu, we must understand. Lazima tuelewe our doctrine. Mafundisho yetu. And our doctrine as a church. Na mafundisho yetu kama kanisa is found in the book. Yanapatikana katika kitabu hiki. The college called this book. Wakale wanatanga walani ukweli <laughs> katika huduma in our churches katika makanisa and we don't need anything else na tuahitaji chochote kingine it is jesus christ ni neema ya kristo tu the right doctrine mafundisho yanayofa it warns us because paul is telling timothy in verse 3 yana tuja kwa sababu paulo anamwambia timotheo kitabu cha kitabu on at ephesus Endelea kuishi huko Efeso so that you may instruct certain men ili uweze na kuelekeza wengine not to teach strange doctrine wasifundishe mafundisho yasiyofaa there are men and women in churches kuna wanaume wanaume katika barabara amenes 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 failitas na iskanda no failitas fileto wait wait They teach strange wrong doctrine. mafundisho ya uongo yasiyofaa. In every church there is a woman. Katika kila kanisa kuna mama. Who causes pastor not to sleep. Ambaye ufanya mchungaji asije akala. There is a man. Kuna mwanaume. Who causes pastor and his wife not to eat adequately. Ufanya ndugu ya mchungaji isiwe na amani. Because they have strange doctrine. Wana mafundisho yasiyofaa. They teach strange doctrine. Wana fundisha mafundisho yasiyofaa. They mislead the church. Wana kutosha kanisa. And they take the church from the pastor. Wana nitoa kanisa mikono kwa mchungaji. Every day pastor is saying wait, wait. Na kila wakati mchungaji tunakuambia rudi tunahitaji kuwafundisha kwa shirika waweze kujua mafundisho yanayofaa na yanaanza nasi sisi Yesu ndiye iwe la tembee his word neno lake hallelujah amen uh david said this words in 117 of psalm david akaja akasema kitabu cha zaburi 119 mzaburi 119 verse 9 sadi wa isa 11 He asked a question how can a young man keep his way pure? Aliuliza je inawezekanaje kwa kijana kufanya njia zake sawa? The answer is very clear. Na jibu ni safi pale. It is by the word. Anasema ni kupitia neno. The word of God. Neno la Mungu. It is not by me. Si kupitia ni speculations. Say sabaka za uongo but by the word lakini kupitia neno every youth here kijana ambaye yuko hapo can keep yourself clean unaweza kujifanya kuishi maisha safi by the word of god kupitia neno la every daughter every son kila mwana this word tells you keep yourself clean ili neno linakuambia kujiweke ukiwa safi don't give yourself to immorality usijiwe na usijiingize kwa mambo ya usherati Don't start knowing men sexually and women sexually before time. Usije kuanza kujuana na wanaume kama wakati jamii. Utaribika. Utajaribu mwenyewe. Utaribika. Mwiana. Utatunza ndoa. Au utatunza ndoa yako kwa sababu umejifunza namna mbaya. When I speak so I will speak English. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you begin to 
treat yourself bad behavior now. Ukianza kujifundisha tabia zisizofaa kwa sasa. You will not keep marriage. Au tatunza ndoa yako. Because you don't know what it means to be a a woman a daughter that is a virgin. Maana unjui jinsi ya kuwa binti ama eh kaka kijana ambaye who keeps himself self pure anayejiweka katika usafi before the lord mbele za mungu and then you expect your door your wedding your marriage to be splendidly well because you keep yourself well kisha utarajie ndoa yako maisha yako yawe mazuri kwa sababu utakuwa umejiweka there are men there are men who are looking for very beautiful girls clean girls tanana and they are not clean kuna wanaume ambao wanatafuta kuweza kuwapata mabinti watakatifu na wao sio watakatifu unajidanganya mwenyewe kama wewe ni takataka utapata takataka hivi au watu wewe you get the girl of that one and it goes the same in both ways na inaenda hivyo kwa njia zote mbili you cannot be a woman who is saying i'm waiting for this i'm waiting for this correct uweze kusema kama najaribu ndo nipate anayefaa and then you are moving from one city na kisha unatembea mji baada ya mwingine in ujarati ukifanya ujarati may the lord god help us to have the right doctrine bwana na tupe kuwa na mafundisho ya kweli kama vijana na mabinti and we who are married na wale ambao tumeoa when you are married you cultivate your marriage ukiona uishi kwa ndoa yako hallelujah amen because it is practical maana ni jambo la kufanyia kazi it is not a life of kula mandazi na nyama si maisha ya kula chapo na hizo zingine i know that is what you have been eating when when you were when you are hot najua hivyo hizo ndo vitu vya chakula ulivyokula vipokea mlipo kwa chumbi yake and your smiles were coming all the time na tabasamu yako ilionekana kila wakati and then when you marry you become police wao kaanza kuwa kauzi serious man unakauka you are a liar wewe ni mungu when and your marriage must be cultivated ndoa yako lazima uishi maisha mlioishi pale kwa fear and trouble katika kicho na kutetemeka we fear and trouble tunakuwa na hicho kicho na kutetemeka haleluya with the fear tukiwa na uoga in the lord katika bwana and trembling na kutetemeka before the lord mbele za bwana haleluya amen so the doctrine that we are talking about mafundisho yale ambayo tunaongea kuyaushi is the word of god ni neno la mungu David says how can a young man keep his way pure David anasema je inawezekanaje kijana akaziweka njia zake kwa utakatifu He is by the word ni kupitia neno And then he says I have kept my word anasema kwamba mimi niliweka neno lako in my heart that I might not sin again katika moyo wangu nisije nikakutenda dhambi tena haleluya amen I have kept niliweka that is what we need to have hicho ndicho tunahitaji kuwa nacho as young people kama eh, vijana as young married couples kama wanadoa wachanga older married na wale ambao wameishi sana katika ndoa we cultivate tunahitaji kuziweka ndoa zetu kwa hiyo ha you know when we are not uh, with children you know marriage everything is good wakati ambapo hatuna watoto katika ndoa mambo yanapanga sana and i am witnesses na anao mashahidi wa baba nenda mashahidi life is maisha kwa sana one one child second child third child third child hata wapanza wa pili wa tatu kuendelea hivyo and even when they are too small it is not a big problem na hata wakiwa wachanga akugwaje na shida bila to them go naambia endeni and they come na wanarudi to them sit naambia kaeni and they sit na wanakeji why when they were small wake walipokuwa wachanga wangu 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 you translate to say what i say my wangu no wangu 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 no wangu wangu eh watu wangu wangu okay my children when they were small watoto wangu walipo katika umri huo i tell them alright ninawaambia simame eat wanakula let's go to the car tendeni kwa gari everybody goes there kila mmoja anifanya hivyo but then they grew up 
Walipokuwa my first son said I need a car. Kijana wangu kwanza akasema anahitaji kuwa na gari yangu. I gave him a car. Nikampa gari yake. Then uh, his sister eh dada yake naye began to say I'm driving with my my brother. Akaanza kusema nitakuwa naendesha pamoja na ndugu yangu. I lost two percentages. Alipoteza and it was in that car that I was doing instruction. Na ni kwa hiyo gari tu aliyokuwa anaitolea hapa. In the things of God. Kwa mambo ya Mungu. We traveled 90 miles. Walisafiri maili karibu 90. And that is enough for teaching. Na hiyo inatosha kwa mafundisho. We stop for uh, for breakfast for for lunch. Wakasimama kapokea chakula cha mchana. Then we start again. Kisha wakafunga safari tena. But my first son is saying lakini mwana I did a car. And then my daughter says, I'm driving with my brother. I have, I have, I have two remaining. And uh, the car is without people. And then the third man said, I, I need my own car. And my last four. I am driving with my brother. I am with my brother. Do you understand what is happening? We are two. My wife and I. I, I want you young people who are married now. And you are the, the, the ones that make the majority of the church today. Nah. You were the words that make the majority of the church today. But one day, you are going to be two. Now, if you are not friends, Kama amkuwa marafiki. Kama amkuwa marafiki. You are going to suffer. Because the children are gone. In most cases, Mara nyingi our children were telling us we have an appointment. Watoto wetu walituambia kuna mahali ambapo wako na mwaniko in Los Angeles. Huko Los Angeles 50 miles. Wanaondoka pale kwa ndugu. And I look at my wife. Na namwangalia na nikamwangalia mke wangu. I say it is about us. Nikamwambia sasa kwetu sisi. So what I'm driving is that you need to understand times and epochs. But if you get a match on that car, you finish the job on the day you go there and get caught in a lady. You motivate your marriage, your your love with fear and trembling. Na kisha maisha kuishia upendo wenu andoa katika kugopa na kujenga kuingia. Uh, two of you again. As you started, and if you are being together because of children, and uh, the, the wife, for example, had three daughters, and the husband had uh, uh, just one son, and the husband had just one son. When you begin to do some voting, uh, he has no votes, your votes come up. Uh, one day it will be two of you. So you better learn how to manage your home. The right doctrine is let every child come to both of you. When the child goes to the mother, the mother says, Go to the father. Or give an appointment, come and see us both. Or build your own government here. Because one day you will suffer. The right doctrine is. Mafumisho ya kweli ni hai Cultivate your marriage with fear and trembling Ii weke doa yako katika hali ya kogo Just as you cultivate your salvation Unapo simamia mkogo wako Marriage because devil is a family Maana shetani 
He doesn't want a man to remain true to his wife. He doesn't want to see a woman remaining true to his wife. To a husband. Because he is still asking the question. Man, is it true okay? that this your husband is the only one? That this your wife is the only one. The Bible says yes. Because Adam said, This is my body. Of my bones. Of my flesh. Of my flesh. She will be called a woman. Hallelujah. And they live together without shame. The right doctrine. Cultivating your marriage life with fear and trouble. And then our churches will be strong. Amen. Amen. Our churches will be strong. strong. Jesus Christ will be strong. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ Church. Amen. 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 Now, I want to bring this to closure. Some people teach strange doctrine. Amanes. Amanes. Faitas. And K and Y and Z. Now, now we need. And you have them. Nango now. Every church has those people. Kila I want to speak in the name of Jesus. Remain in the true doctrine of our Lord Jesus. Don't bring your own things. If you are tired of a church, go. Come on the Amen. Don't teach false doctrine. Don't even try. Because the Bible says if you make one to fall, huh? if you make one to fall, if you make one to fall, you will be thrown into the ocean because there is a huge rock that you will be uh, connected on your neck and then thrown out and that is an example to say your judgment is greater because you cause some to go astray. It is better if you are not satisfied with, with the bishop. Stand bishop. Don't call him names. Go. Because you don't want to bring curses upon yourself. The anointed of God is not spitted at, is not called names, even you cannot call him Kehara. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know what happened to those young men who oh. called the servant of God Oheret? They were eaten by wild animals. Huh? Yeah. They were torn into pieces. Because they played about with the servant of God. I'm using that as an example so that you carry the things of God with fear. And, and so that you do well. Protect the bishop. Amen. Amen. Protect the man of God. To lead them to this Pray for the man of God. To to this Point them to the servant of God. To 
Muite mtumishi wa Mungu. Umwambie tu mimi si kwa namna nani. I was just calling. Nilikuwa tu ninakuita. To tell you I'm praying for you. Ukwambie kwamba ninapombea. You are not telling him trouble. Ukwambie umwambie shida. You are telling him I prayed for you. Unamwambia nilikuombea siku. Inuka na simama na nguvu. Unasema unamwambia simame na endelee kwa Mungu. Because because when Moses his hands were lifted up. Sababu mikono ya Musa ilipoinuliwa, the victory is won. Ushindi ulionekana. Hallelujah. Amen. The victory of the church, uh, uh, Jesus Christ church is won because we lift up. Ushindi wa kanisa la neema la Kristo utaonekana kwa sababu tunaimwa mikono ya kwamba mafuta wa Mungu. And we lift our banner. Na tunamwinua mama yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when she is shocked, atakama uende ikawa ni mfupi. Tege yake inakupeleka kianama. Tege yake inaweza kukusumbulia uingie hapa. Amen. So let us lift her up and lift all of them up. Hakuna masengenyo. Kwa hivyo tuwainue wote wawili na tuweke masengenyo kando. Kwa masengenyo ni mwelo kuenda na uti. When you worship them then you are worship them in your life. The true doctrine mafundisho ya kweli you do not do anything to the anointed of God ushinde ukafanya chochote kwa papa mafuta wa Mungu David has told us Daudi alikuwa na mapinde when he had an opportunity to destroy Saul alipokuwa na wakati wa kumwaza kumaliza he did not do anything Sauli angefanya chochote he was told by his generals it is time aliambiwa na majenerali wake ni wakati then he said i cannot do anything to the anointed Daudi akasema siwezi kumfanyia chochote kwa mafuta wa Mungu. Our church to stand the temptations of the time. Ili kanisa liweze kusimama na kushinda majaribu ya wakati huu. We don't touch the anointed. Tusije tukawaguza wapapa mafuta wa Mungu. We lift them up. Tuwainue. Because they lift us up. Kwa sababu watatuinua pia. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the teaching of the true doctrine katika mafundisho katika mafundisho ya mafundisho ya kweli we know our name tumejua jina letu kwanza our name is jina letu ni Jesus Jesus Christ what is our name Jesus Jesus Christ and why do you have other names under that na mema kuna na majina mengine chini ya hiyo aha Mimi naitwa Mwadime. Anaitwa Barikiwa and there is nothing else beneath that. Na hakuna kitu kingine kiko chini ya hiyo jina. We are Jesus Christ. Tuko na Jesus Christ. Why do you have all those other names there? Mbona kuna mengine yako hapo chini? What are you saying? Unatamka nini pa? What are you saying? Una una unasema nini? Unasema nini hapo? What are you saying? Unasema nini hapo? When you have other names. Unapokuwa na majina mengine. What is our name? Jina letu mmejikana. What is our name? Jesus Christ Victory Victory International. Okay? Yes. The churches are going to be Jesus Christ centers. Makanisa yetu yataitwa neema ya Kristo. When were we started? Tulianza hii huduma nini as God? 2012 mwaka wa 2012. Okay. What month? No, when did we uh, establish the post in Masana? Tulianzia Masana mwaka gani? 1990. What month? Mwezi mpi. Mwaka wa 2016. What date? Mwaka wa 2016. What month? Mwezi mpi. Mwezi wa sita. Yeah. We need that written down so well. Tunahitaji hilo liwekwe because we have a name. Mama yetu ndani yetu. Mama tuko na jina. Mama yetu ndani yetu mimi. Waliyoa tarehe 30 Mei. Kisha baada ya wiki moja wakaenda Masani. Ni wiki moja wakaishi Masani. Watu wakiita kufanya ushirika na askofu. Hapo ndo walianza wiki ya tatu. 
ilikuwa the week ya tatu ya mwezi wa sita we did not go back to Mombasa even to open the presents of our wedding. Our cake is here. Cake yao iliyoza tu wakiwa. When we were opening the church. So we need that exact date and we need, we need, we need that history. Tunaitaji hii historia. Because that is important. So we know our names. And we need not to be complicated. In every local church. We are Jesus Grace. Center. Center. Jesus name. Somebody say Amen. Okay. And then if you want the full name, Jesus. Jesus raised victory in the nation. Which is which is G G G B R. Amen. Amen. And Y number two. Yeah, because we are daughters and sons of God. Because we are daughters and sons of God. By the virtue of our faith. We are daughters and sons of God. By the virtue of our faith. We are daughters and sons of God. But as many as believe in Him, He gave them the right to become the children of God. Even to them that believe for this thing. Number three. When we are being rooted in the right doctrine, we must know our name and our origin. We must know that we are daughters and sons of God. Number three, then we must stick to the right doctrine. We must stick to the right doctrine. 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 The right in the right doctrine. The right doctrine which is built on love. Pure faith. Iman safi. And conscience. Hallelujah. By faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the fifth one. We are not going to build our roots on myth. And the genealogies. It is on the cornerstone. Jesus Christ. Amen. Foundation. The cornerstone. Built on the word of God. Tunyewe katika neno la mungu. In the prophets. Katika manadi. And in the apostles. Na katika bitumi. In Jesus name. Kwa jena na Yesu. The book, this book. Iti kita. Is our foundation. Nicho misigi yetu. No other foundation. Hakuna misigi yetu. No stories of men and women. Hakuna aniliza wanauna wanawake. But the word of God. Lakini kubitia neno la mungu. And if there is anybody who will come with another gospel. Na kama kubitia. Other than the gospel we brought, don't listen to them. Paul said, don't listen to them. To make it come home, he said, even if we change ourselves and bring another doctrine, do not listen. The word of God, the Old Testament, and the New Testament. That is the word. We don't need any other word. And Jesus raised a uh, uh, victory church. Is going to be built on the word of God. Every Sunday, the word. 
Every Sunday, every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, worship. Kila siku na majira ya ibada. Build on the word. Yajenga katika neno. Our giving. Matendo yetu. Is built on the word. Yajenga katika neno. The Lord is uh, is built in a jengwa. In a jengwa katika neno. On the word. In a jengwa katika neno. We don't steal or rob God. Atuwezi kumwibia Mungu. Uh we don't. We don't. Atuwibia Mungu. Because he says in Malachi 3:10. Kwa sababu Malaki 3:10 you have robbed. Inasema kwamba umenihimiza. And then you are saying how? Na mnajiuliza ni kwa nini? He tells them it is by your tithes. Anawaambia ni kupitia mafungu. You don't bring your tithes. Amonitaji mafungu yenu. That's what we want to know. Hicho ndicho tunahitaji kujua. God wants his tithe. Kwamba Bwana anadai mafungu yake. He is tithe. To let the mafungu yake. Hallelujah. Amen. Bring it. To let the mafungu yake. Bakofu kwetu. Amen. Ninaona hapo amkushangilia sana. Ninataka mshangilie. Amen. Bwana amesema tulete mafungu mafungu na kuku. Amen. Amen. Because it is his. Kwa sababu ni yake. He gives us nine. Ye utumba tisa. He wants us to give him one. Anaitaji kati ya kumi tumpe moja. Amen. 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 I know some of you here are constructors. Najua kuna wengine hapa ambao ni mafundi wa kujenga. And I know their money. Na ninajua kipato chao. Because I have worked with them. Kwa sababu asiifanya kazi na wao. Within a week they may be into a million. Kati ya wiki huenda wapate milioni moja. And then after two another million. Na wiki nyingine wapate ingine. Within a month they may be within, within um, five million. Huenda kati ya wiki waweza kwa mwezi waweza kupata zaidi ya milioni tano. Help me calculate their time. Naomba unisaidie kufanya hesabu ya fungu lao la 10. How much is that? Milioni 5 ni gani? Time. Kwa mwezi laki 500. Ah? 500,000 half a million. Half a million. Half a million. If we get half a million here in this church to give back the half a million in my kanisa. We will transform. Tutaweza kugeuka, tukubadilika. Amen. Kwa wanaume wanakalia pesa. Speak in another language. Amen. I don't say amen. Speak. Nimesema wanaume wanakalia pesa. Anasema, "Eh, siaomba nini kalile pesa." This man needs transformation. Men are sitting on their money. Wanaume wamekalia pesa zao. Wanawake wamekalia pesa. Also applies to women. Man. The church of Jesus Christ is not poor. Kanisa la Kristo si masikini. And we are not poor. Na sisi si masikini. I have helped church leadership from AIC to KICC everywhere. Anaanza kufanya uongozi wa makanisa kila mahali. I have helped them understand in the church of Jesus Christ there is money. Because some people were saying we cannot pay pastors this much because there is no money. I have told them there is money. Pay them. Pay them. I tell them pronounce what you want to pay. Ili waambie na mtaje kile ambacho mtaje kwa nini. And you will see money. Na mtaona pesa. In my church in as early as 1981. Mwaka 1981. We were giving 3000 kenyan shilling. Katika kanisa hilo ni ndugu waliweza kutoa matoleo ya 1300. And next year we were giving 5000. Mwaka ufuatao wakatoa 1500. And I did not even do a lot. I just taught the word of God. Sikia fanya kingine ila tukufundisha neno la Mungu. And the people came. Na watu waliweza kutolea. So let us teach the right doctrine on giving. Kwa hivyo tufundishe mafundisho yanayofaa kwa upande wa kutoa. So that people may bring their tithes. Ili watu waweze kuleta mafungo yao. Even if people tomorrow by uh, uh, our bishop are talking now. 
Even if tomorrow people in this church groped half over 10%, this church will not be the same. This church will buy all of this.
ume, ume back to the when I am in Los Angeles, they say Kenya is saying to be of an international testing. Kenya, protocol. Let me show them. Go back. I was delaying tours. Because I needed to go online and go to the to the international and to put everything together and then it brings the real thing. In the beginning, when the mango padina and farm and they are when, when my wife is returning, I do the same. And uh, it is there. So, I was delayed in Kenya, you may not know Kenya's power. Kenya is very powerful. Technology, but technology. in everything. How easy? Yeah. So, so. So we've got to know where we are. So that we have the protocol. I said we have our vision. We have his wife. We honor them. The Lord in the glory. The Lord in the glory. He sees us and he smiles. And he blesses this church. And the leadership is smooth. Now, the pastors are smooth. smooth. Their wives are smooth. The membership is smooth. In Jesus' name. That is what Jesus gave me to come and say to them. The honor of the church. You may call me the Archbishop, but I'm not the owner of the church. The bishop is not the owner of the church. The owner of the church is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. That is the owner of the church. I am his servant. The bishop is his servant. Pastors here. Pastors in Luka. Pastors in Luka. Mama, wherever you are. The pastors. The pastors. We are employed by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Employed by Jesus Christ. So, church, when you pray for us, we are workers in the vineyard of the Lord. We are not born the church. The other day I had the church of Monaco. The church of Mala. That is wrong. We say in the church that Jesus has given me to serve. Jesus prays. Jesus prays. Amen. The Lord God has, uh, has given us to be shepherds. And first Peter 5. Verse 1 all the way to 7. Jesus says we serve willingly. Yes, Lord for gain. Not for solid gain. But looking unto the chief shepherd. I ask you to look at the chief shepherd. Who comes with a with a with a reward? A crown. Everybody and a crown. Kill a moja for a coffee. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a crown. 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 Amen